Hey everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialists. I hope you're doing well. And back by popular request, I have one more case to show you with the Clear Clinics endoscope, which was very kindly sent to me for review by Clear Clinics. So thank you very much, guys. Um, this is the last case I think I recorded with it before I had to send it back. Um, but it will be available for purchase, I think, in the next couple of months in the UK. So I will definitely buy one. But um, this particular case, it's a very short one, but I think it demonstrates the kind of potential of the scope quite nicely. This sort of musket ball type earwax was actually really bothering the patient and she found it a little bit uncomfortable for me to remove. So I've just slung in some olive oil. Um, this is a little bionics curette, which wasn't particularly useful. So I am gonna go in with the hook and just, and just yank it out. But um, the, the Clear Clinic endoscope um, it's, a, it's a four mil endoscope, so it's larger than the CUNY scope or the, or the clear wax scope, which is Neil Reiter's scope. Um, larger than the eye endoscope scope, so um, you know it's, it's a big beefy rod or distal portion that you're having to put into the ear canal. But it, it, for me it's just a matter of getting used to it. Probably not good for, for pediatric patients or very, very small bendy ear canals but you can suction most patients with it. And of course, because the scope is bigger, more light's entering the sensor. For me, um, I tend to get a much clearer picture with this one. And of course, you know, everything's nicely exposed. Again, just like the previous video I shot with it, you don't have areas of overexposure and then underexposure. Everything's just nicely illuminated and, and again, visible. Um, so I've just got it out with the hook here. And, uh, and we'll have a look at the, the eardrum afterwards. Again, because the, this little musket ball is so hard, I can't actually, I'm struggling to dig the hook in to actually get it away from the patient's ear. But uh, yeah, overall, I, I've been very, very happy with it. And again, once it's available, I will almost certainly buy one because for making videos and also for taking pictures and things, if I'm sending a patient to ENT, it is fantastic. You know, the, the image quality is the best I've seen so far. So lovely looking eardrum there. And I think we'll just go in and, uh, oh no, we're gonna have a look at the, the debris here. This little purple curette is made by a company called Bionics. It's okay. Uh, I thought it might be good for the job, but it clearly isn't. Um, it's flexible. You know, the tip is flexible, unlike the, the core thorn hook that you see there, which is really rigid. So there we go. I hope you found that video interesting. Once again, thank you very much to Clear Clinics in the UK for sending me this endoscope for review. I will place, be placing my order very soon. Thank you very much.